Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I've been experimenting with a number of the new King Arthur Keto line products like the muffin base and the cake bases and I grabbed the Keto Wheat Pizza base and I wanted to make a recipe for you guys today with it. The box mix is really simple to throw together. You can just toss all the ingredients in your bread maker bowl if you have one. Or go ahead and knead the ingredients together by hand. It'll just take a little longer but you'll be fine. I'm also going to add in pizza dough flavor and it adds a more garlicky and cheesy flavor to the dough. I'm going to add in some pizza seasoning as well. You can do the same or of course add whatever you have on hand at home. I let the mixer run for about 5 minutes to let it knead together until it was nice and bouncy. You'll want to lightly flour the surface with a little bit of the King Arthur Keto Wheat Flour Blend or whatever keto flour blend you have on hand to prevent the dough from sticking and to aid in rolling out the crust. You can go ahead and roll that dough out to your preferred thinness. I like a nice thin crust pizza. Stretch the dough out in the pan to shape it and then you're going to cover it and let it rest for about 10 minutes. Once you've let the dough rest, if you see that it's shrunk at all, you can just go ahead and give it a little stretch out again until the dough is reaching the edges of the pan all the way around. I find it helpful to go ahead and just stretch the dough also in addition to rolling it out with a pin. I used a white sauce that I had on from Trader Joe's. A lot of the ingredients in this recipe are actually from Trader Joe's. But you can use whatever sauce you have on hand. You're just going to want a white sauce for the white pizza. Then I also made a savory cheese mix using mascarpone cheese and parmesan cheese along with some fresh chives, salt, garlic, and onion powder. Again, I'll leave a link to all the details for the recipe that you can print and scale up to 3x. If you want to make enough for 3 pizza pies, you can get that on the blog lowcarbsweetspot.com.
Then I went ahead and sprinkled on a little bit more freshly shaved Parmesan cheese. The mixed directions advise baking at 475 degrees for between 15 and 18 minutes, but I found that my pie was ready to go around around 9 minutes. So you're going to want to definitely keep an eye on your stove and just bake it until the crust is nice and golden brown, the cheese is bubbly and melted, you'll be good to go. And again, I love that this box mix will yield two servings of dough. So you can go ahead and make one pizza right away and then have yourself set up for meal prep for the week with the dough ready in the fridge or the freezer. So you can just pop it out early in the day, let it rise, and then by the time you're ready for dinner, you're all set to go, roll it out, add whatever toppings you have on hand, and you're all set for dinner. This cheesy and savory recipe was absolutely delicious. I hope you guys make this, enjoy it. Tag me at the Low Carb Sweet Spot on Instagram if you do make it. Follow me there if you haven't already. And leave a note in the comment section below if you've made the pizza mix, what toppings did you add, or have you found some new and creative ways to use the King Arthur Keto Pizza Mix? I want to hear about it. Let me know in the comment section below. I shared a peek of the keto muffin mix earlier in the week. I made these fantastic blueberry muffins. They're so light, fluffy, and cakey. I'm probably going to work that into another meals for the week type video. If you guys are interested in that, just hit the like button and add a comment in the description box below to let me know that you're interested in checking out that mix as well. I'll include a link to all the details for this recipe and you can also find other recent recipes posted on the channel that you can scale up to 3x on the blog, thelowcarbsweetspot.com. Thanks for watching.